We walked in and I see this little creature and I just thought, I have never seen a dog like that. What the heck is she? Frankie has two speed, bleep and psycho. My name is Erica, and this is Frankie's story for GeoBeats. She had been found under a bush. The woman brought her into her house, but didn't want to keep her permanently. I said, I will take her into my rescue, help you lead through how to rehome her correctly. Because you always worry they're going to breed the dogs, they're going to fight the dogs. We got her, and she had a lot of medical issues, and that's the result of the overbreeding. Her nose is really short. Her intestines had gotten so thick that she was always hungry, but the food wasn't getting absorbed into her body. Her body is just a little funky because it's a look that people want. Oh, no. We did her DNA yeah. test. She had 44 relatives that were half relatives. That means there's a big breeding ring somewhere and she just was a reject is what I think. Okay. Not much going on in there. We don't know how old she was. Her teeth are really, really bad and they almost look like they were either filed down or just chewing on things. So we get her medically cleared and now months have gone by and I've never kept a dog within my rescue. And it was just one morning, my husband said, she wants to sit over there with you and her sister. And I said, do you mean that you want to keep her? He said, yes. And I started crying in the middle of the restaurant. She was ours. We're keeping Frankie, right? <laughs> I just needed to have her. She just goes from sleepy to psycho, and it's the funniest thing. I thought I didn't even go. <gasps> Bully breeds, they truly are, in my opinion, the Ferrari, the Corvette of dogs. They are the best of the best, and what everybody believes about them to be scary and mean is not true. Once you have one, they just steal your heart. I really think that she was kept in a small crate and that's all she knew. I think it was just a dog mill, a breeder that would have all of these dogs. They never came out unless they were sold. And so I think she was literally just one of those stuffed dogs in a small area. She'll sleep in the weirdest positions. Other dogs can climb on top of her and she doesn't react. It's so weird. I've never had something like this before. I wouldn't trade you for nothing. She's this missing piece that I didn't know I needed. I think that Frankie knows I was her mom the minute that she saw me. I love you so much. If Frankie wants to play with you, Frankie's going to play. It's play time. She'll jump off furniture. She'll jump off of me. She'll jump on me. She'll chew my hair. Unfortunately, she's got these cropped ears that someone did to her, but they can still wiggle. And so I know which way she's looking or thinking or listening to me with. If I say, Quinky, she just wags her tail. It's this little stubby, weird looking tail, but it wags every time. So she's a happy girl that, that is just special. <laughs> How do you just not love this face? Okay. <laughs>